I, I, I again, I, I in this verse, I, 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 I'm, I'm very interested in this subject about we, we call it living alone in the crowd, and the dynamic of uh, being both having a collective consciousness and an individual consciousness. And this verse is really, really good for that. So here we see that, that the gopis are referring to Kaliya, and Kaliya is mentioned in many different ways by our acharyas that pastimes given a little differently in, in different uh, literatures of our, of our previous acharyas. I, I'm remembering the, the, the words that Balaram spoke to Krishna in the Brihad Bhagavatamrita, which is a very beautiful description of the Kaliya Dhamana Lila. He says, Murchitan mitatulyam tan sarvam drishtyati yantritaha sa gudgada sonitchohai Krishnam sambodhiso bravit. When he saw that everybody was laying there on the ground as though they were going to die uh, because this, this terrible poison, this Bisha Jala, was troubling everyone in, in, in Vrindavan, then Balaram became very sorrowful. Balaram is Adi Guru. Mm -hmm. And when Guru Dev sees that the devotees are suffering, and they're expressing that suffering, as you were as, you were just saying, Amarendra Prabhu, it's not that they're uh, taking shelter of themselves, their own strength, but they're taking shelter of Krishna. And then at that time, Gurudev intercedes and he calls out to Krishna. So then Balaram, at that point, he calls out to Krishna. Ite nevaikunta nivasi parshada novana rastena chayadava api goloka loka Bhavat eka jivana nasyantya sakya bhagavan maya vito. Baladev Balaram, he told Krishna, he said, Eti na vaikunta nibasi parshada. These aren't your parshadas who are living with you in vaikunta. Navanaras te, that these aren't the, the monkeys who are living with you when you were Lord Ramachandra, who are living in the forest. Hmm? Nacha Yadava Pi, these aren't the members of the Yadu dynasty. Goloka Loka, these are, are, are the residents of, of Goloka Vrindavan. And Bhavat Ekajivana, they only have one life, Ekajivana, and that one life is you. And now, Nashantya Sakya Bhagavan Mayavitum, they're all dying because they're seeing you in the coils of Kaliya. They're all going to die. Huh? So this is also the Bisha Jala. That, that Jala is the, the life water of everything. And what is that life water? In another sense, it's Krishna. And when the gopis are seeing that Krishna, the gopis and all the residents of Vrindavan are seeing that Krishna is in the coils of uh, Kaliya, then they're lamenting and they're going to die. And Balaram at that point, he speaks up just as Gurudev, when he, he may not intercede on behalf of the disciple, until he, dece until he sees that the disciple has this attitude, I'm dying, my head is on fire, please help me, please help me. And then at that time, Gurudev intercedes, Balaram intercedes, and he speaks like this to Krishna. Then he goes on to say, yukta navapanti yavat tavadino tam karuna tvajaitam krishnanyata goshta janayaka bhando gantasi shokam Midulasvabhavaha. Mm -hmm. Balaram told him that Krishna, uh, you're, you're Karuna Moi, you're very, very kind. You're a very kind person. Please, you do something. Because if you don't do something, these devotees, Pranay Vyukta, they're, they're going to die. They're going to become separated from their life heirs. Do something before that happens. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to suffer. Which again reminds me also of the statements of the gopis, that the gopis, they're speaking like this to Krishna, that uh, you should give us your drisha, your glance. Why? Huh? Because uh, that ultimately is going to give pleasure to you. And the gopis, they're, they're independent thinkers in the sense that, that they're not thinking like everybody else. The gopis are thinking, how can we please you, Krishna? That's all that we want. So similarly, Balaram is telling Krishna, if you don't do something right now, if you don't save them from Kaliya, then this is going to break your heart. Everybody in Braj is worried about Krishna. 
Whereas the religionists in the world, they're worried about themselves. And that's why in the end of the Gita, Krishna says, Sarva Dharma Paritjaga. He doesn't say Sarva Papa Paritjaga. He doesn't say give up sin. He says give up religion. Because your Dharma means your particular Dharma, your desires. And just Mame Kam Saranam, brother, you take shelter of me. Or as my Gurmaj commented, the word Braja there means in the mood of Braj. And that, he said, was the end of the Bhagavad Gita. When Krishna remembered Braj then, he couldn't speak anymore. And basically, Bhagavad Gita was finished at that point. So we should learn to be independent thinkers like the gopis are independent thinkers. Not that we're letting everybody else tell us how to think. We're not following what the mass of people think. But as individuals, we're, think we're thinking, how can we please Krishna? What is Krishna's desire? 